Good. We'll tune up here. All right. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining. I'm Drew Man. So today we're going to learn what most of the videos are in the very first section I posted about how to unlock the fretboard. A lot of those videos were one to two minutes long, and they were great. But this is just going to piece them all together in one unedited video so you can see in real time how I walk through it, my thought process, and uh, should be pretty quick and painless. So welcome. We've got some links down below. A um, couple of them are for merchandise and stuff. We've got some real crucial gear for all of you fishermen out there, or if you just like a good laugh. Got some guitar hats too. So if you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it instead of just donating and not getting anything out of it. Go ahead and order something, grab yourself a gift, and it'll support my dreams as well. So I appreciate you. Um, what I'm going to do first is tune up my guitar. So if you want to go grab your guitar or just follow along if you want, but I recommend grab your guitar and then pour up your favorite drink, grab a sturdy chair, plop on down. I'll meet you back here in about 30 seconds and we'll get started. Can I see your bobbers? All right. So hopefully you just got done grabbing your guitar. And you can use an electric or an acoustic on this one. doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm going to use my acoustics. I love this. This one is actually a Yamaha. Um, I'm looking at Martins and Taylors and all this stuff. You know, five, $600. Not looking for anything in the thousands yet. But since I was getting a little better and I've been investing my time, I wanted to move up. But honestly, this Yamaha I got for 200 bucks. I think it's the FG800. Yep, FG800 is just fantastic. There's no electronics on it, so you can't plug in um, without adding some other equipment. But it's just got a great big boom to it without being too bulky, like some of the jumbos that are just huge. Just a great guitar. Um, I showed it to my older brother. He's a lefty, and he actually went out the next day and bought the same one just because for the price, it's great. Not sponsored by him or anything. Just really enjoyed the guitar. So if you're looking for a budget guitar that plays really well, Yamaha FG800. All right, so first thing we're going to do to get started is tune our guitar. So make sure you got a guitar that has six strings. If you need to add some, do that. We've got a video in the channel, uh, when to change your strings. So I'm going to use an external tuner. You can use one that's on your guitar. You can also use one from a laptop or a phone, whatever. The laptop and phones, though, they use those kind of funky microphones that don't sound great. So I recommend using one of these or the one on your guitar but don't feel like you have to buy anything. Just use what you got, but these kind of sound a little better. So when we're talking about guitar strings, the string closest to the floor is the first string and you work your way up when you're counting. So the string closest to your face, that'd be the sixth string. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it? So, when we're tuning, we're going to start from the ground up on the first string, and we want to tune up to the note. And what I mean by that is that if it's an E note, which is what we're trying to achieve, we don't want to be at an F or a G and tune down to it. We want to take our tuner. We're going to go below the E, so I'm going to take it to a D or a D sharp in this situation because that's below the E, and we're going to tune up to it. So we're not going to be doing back and forth playing tune in Tokyo. We're just going to go until we achieve that note. I'm watching my tuner here. Just about perfect. So notice I never went down after I started my initial ascent up. And what that does is it takes out any extra, or I guess any loose tension. So if you're tuning down to it, the string's kind of not being wound up as tight as it could be. This way, when you're winding to the note, winding up to it, it's getting all of that loose tension out of there, and it just has a better connection with your guitar. 
So you also won't lose your notes as quickly. You won't go flat. Uh, it's just better overall practice. So make sure on all your strings, you're tuning up. So if you want to do it to your guitar, I'll do it to mine. We'll keep it going here. So we're going for a B next. The second string is a B. Just missed it, so I'm going to go blow it again and make sure I get it just right. Perfect. The next string is the third string. That is the G string. The G string. All right. So we're going to go way below it. Climb to it. Next, the D string. So I'm at about a C sharp here. Let's climb it up. Oh, that's sweet. Um, tuning your guitar is a great way to train your ear as well. So as we're learning the fretboard, you're going to kind of get some stuff internalized. You won't even realize it, but your brain's going to be realizing, oh, that sounded good. Oh, that sounded kind of dissonant or off, you know, didn't really match up together. Tuning is the most basic form of just sort of learning when it sounds right. And that skill will grow over time. This is a great foundation for it. So I recommend tuning often. Um, start off, tune it every day. And then once you're playing a lot, tune it in between songs, um, especially if you're really wailing. And most of the time, it's very small changes you need to make. But having that consistent sound will make a big difference. Your roommates, your spouses, your kids, everyone will enjoy it if you're playing something that sounds in tune. So make sure you're knocking that up. So let's finish up here. So we're on the fifth string is A. So let's go way below A, right at G sharp. Perfect. All right. So the last one is an E. That's the low E string. So we're going to go way below, just like the last three, four, five, six. All right. So we're taking that D and we're going to go all the way up. Pause. Perfect. And here's a good time to realize a pattern. Our first pattern we'll learn the first string, the E string, that is the high E, and then the sixth string, the low E, those are the same notes. So if you hit them at the same time, sounds great together. So anything we learn on this first string, which we're going to do right now, the same notes are going to be up here on the sixth string. So if you learn E, F, F sharp, G, which we're about to, same thing, you can do it right here. E, F, F sharp, G. So any pattern we learn on this first string, we're going to learn it on the sixth string too. So let's get right into it. So we're going to learn the first string and how we, uh, how we get into it. So in Western music, there's 12 notes. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then back to A. In between those notes, there's five sharps. A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. So all together, that's 12 notes. So A, A sharp, B, there's no B sharp. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, there's no E sharp. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then you're back to A. So those 12 notes make up Western music. So anything you're playing, if you're watching this video, is going to be in those notes. So just know that there is nothing beyond that. So if you think like, I could never learn all this. It's just those notes. You just got to learn the patterns and figure out where they are. So let's unlock it. So the first string, that's a high E. And we just hit it open. I'm not touching anything. I'm just hitting that first string. The first fret, and each one of these is just a fret. So the first fret on the first string, that's an F. Just remember, E doesn't have an E sharp. So we just go E, F. F does has a, have a sharp, so a half step up from there, or just one fret, we just go E, F, F sharp, after F sharp is G, after G is G sharp, after G sharp is A, after A is A sharp, after A sharp is B, and remember B does not have a sharp, so we go straight to C, C, then on the 10th fret, First string still, C sharp. Excuse me, that was the ninth fret, excuse me. Ninth fret, then on the 10th fret, we got D. And then on the 11th fret, D sharp, and that's all 12 notes. When you get to the 12th fret, it's gonna be the exact same notes as what we played when it was open. So we started with the open E, so when we get to this 12th fret on the first string, that's just a high E again. 
And anything that we learned here on those first 11 frets is going to be the exact same from the 12th up. So we already know these. So we start on the 12th fret. We just keep it there. E. That first fret was an F, which is now the 13th fret in this situation. Then F sharp. Then G. Then G sharp. And all the way up. So you now know the whole first string. And remember, anything on the first string you know, you know the sixth string. So you just doubled it. And now you already know those first 11 notes. Remember, you already doubled it there. So you know whole first string, the whole sixth string. Let's go on to the second string, which is the B string. So remember, we count from the floor up. So we got string one. We just did. It was a high E. String two is the B string. The B string, we're going to start by hitting the open B. Then there is no B sharp. So the first fret, second string is going to be a C. The second string, second fret, is going to be a C sharp. After C sharp on the third fret is going to be D. After D is D sharp. After D sharp is E. There is no sharp on E, so we go right to F. Then we go to F sharp. After F sharp is G. After G is G sharp. After G sharp is A, so we're on the 10th fret, second string, still working that second string. On the 11th fret, second string, it's A sharp. That was all 12 notes. Then we get back to the 12th fret, that's the B again. And then same thing, we already know anything from the 12th fret up is exactly the same as from the open to the 11th. So we would have B, C, C sharp, D. Pretty cool, right? So we now know the first string, the second string, and the sixth string. So let's keep it going. We're on to our fourth string here. So it's going to be labeled as string number three. So we count from the ground up. So we got one, two, three. So that's the G string. G string. I think it's a good time to take a cheers. Props for learning this stuff. Um, I am about to turn 33. I learned this at the age of 32 after playing for about 20 years. And it's just changed everything. I can now jam with my buddies. I can unlock scales. I can figure things out on my own. Um, and it cost me about $2,000 and a year of practicing. I'm going to give it all to you for free. Um, tons of links down below with free stuff like the chart of keys, circle of fifths. Those are both tools that really help you unlock um, different musical situations. Uh, also, there is a merch store and tons of other links. So check them out. All right. Cheers. Okay, so we're on the third string, the G string. So it's the same pattern, nothing crazy. We're just going to do the same 12 notes we already know. Let's get right into it. So we got G, G sharp, A. So it's open G, first fret G sharp, second fret A, third fret A sharp, fourth fret B. There is no B sharp, so we go C. So we're on the fifth fret, third string, C. And actually something we're gonna learn later will be uh, one of the C scales, and that's one of the landing points we're gonna do. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we like that spot right there. Well, let's keep it going. So we got C sharp. Then we got D. Then we got D sharp. Then we got E. And remember, E doesn't have a sharp, so we go right to F. Then after F is F sharp, and that's all 12. The next note we're about to hit is back to the 12th fret, which is a G. And then after there, we already know, so it's going to be the exact same thing up here as we just did down there. So it started on the G, G sharp, A, and so on. Okay. So the fourth string is the D string. So we got E, B, G, D. So we're gonna learn this exact same, nothing fancy. Go slow too. You can always pause this, rewind if it ends up being uh, later that you're viewing this stream. And uh, there's no point in rushing it. Practicing wrong isn't worth it. So practice correctly and you'll get a lot more out of it, I promise. 
let's get right into it. So we're on the fourth string here, the D string. So we start with the open D. Then next we're going to hit the uh, first fret, fourth string, D sharp. Then we're going to hit the second fret, fourth string, E. Then we're going to hit the next one, which is an F. After F is F sharp. And we've been going just one note at a time, right? So we go from one fret to next fret to next fret. Those are called half steps because you're just going one fret. You're going to hear me reference a whole step later on. And all that is is going two frets at once. So if we did a half step, let's go from this. So we did E, F, F sharp. Here's G. Now half step from G is going to be G sharp right here. But let's learn a whole step. So we're at G. If we do a whole step, we just go from here to there. And that's an A. So G to half step. That's just a G sharp. But G and a whole step would be to A. So now you know. So after A is A sharp, then B. No B sharp, so we go right to C. After C is C sharp. That's on the 11th fret, so you know what's after that. We're back to the D. So the last string we have to learn is the fifth string, the A string. And then we've got the, the notes unlocked here, so let's do it. So the fifth string is the open A. Get the thicker strings here. So for A, we do the same thing. Save 12 notes, not rocket science, just putting our mathematical patterns and our musical patterns where they belong. So we do A, then the first fret, fifth string, A sharp. Half step up is B. There's no B sharp, so half step up is C. Half step up from there is C sharp. Half step up from there is D. Then D sharp. Then E. So let's do a whole step from here, because this is something we haven't really done yet. So we're at E, and we're going to go a whole step. So a half step would be to F. E to F, because there is no sharp on that. But we're doing a whole step, so we would go E to F to F sharp. So a whole step from E is E to F sharp. Cool. After F sharp, we got G. After G, we got G sharp. And guess what? Right after that, we're back in the 12th, back to A. No problem. So let's review. So you just learned all six strings that we count from the floor up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We learned that the first string and the sixth string are the exact same. We learned that anything you learn on the open all the way to the 11th frets are the same as the 12th fret up. And we learned that there's only 12 notes on each string, and you're just playing them in different spots. Nothing crazy, but you just unlocked the entire fretboard. Think about that. In under 20 minutes, you can now identify any note. And at first, it's not going to be super easy of like, oh, that's where that C is. But after a while, you're going to play some scales, you're going to play some songs, and you start to memorize where stuff is. You saw earlier when I hit that C, I wasn't thinking about the scale, but it's like, oh, that's my landing point for one of my scales I like to practice. It's going to become so natural that you start to recognize where these notes are. I could show you a couple of C's right now. Before, the only C I might have known probably would have been this one, honestly. Because when you play a C chord, and I, I guess I could have found that one maybe, maybe two. Now I know that that C is on the eighth fret on the first string. I know it's identical right here on the sixth string. So I know I can also take that all the way down here, play it on the eight, play it on the eight. So just having some idea of patterns and not acting helpless when you're doing this will go a long way. You know so much of it, you just haven't learned it, but it's like, dude, just play the pattern you already know, you know? Uh, yeah, so I think uh, we're going to call it a day here for that one. Uh, the next live stream, we're going to go over the C major scale, and that really unlocks the entire guitar. Um, this pretty much just got you to now you know how to find things. Now you know how to build stuff of this is the building blocks of it all. So anything we try and do, we'll be able to. But we had to learn this first. So go through, review it, make sure you uh, know the fretboard, and I'll get back to you all soon. Cheers one more time. Check out the merch store. Support the channel down below. Get something out of it. You don't just have to donate. Get a nice koozie or a hat out of it. Love you all. Till next time. Cheers.